All right, so here's the deal. I just purchased, in fact, let me get the box. Still got the price on it. <clears throat> this new little gadget, it's called a Relay G10 from Line 6. Uh, wasn't too bad. 180 bucks. It's totally worth it. I mean, I'm super happy with it. However, I had to keep searching videos on like because it, it wasn't syncing right i'm going to show you how how it works now and i hope that this video can help other people like that like me just bought it and you're not getting it to sync with your guitar so here is what it looks like right this is your not only your receiver but it's also your charger which is pretty cool the the, the plug is is lithium ion so it's an Android charger. We all have one of these laying somewhere around. And um, they're not the longest, but, you know, they have extension cords. We can make it work. And it also has the, the, the quarter inch on balance, and it has the XLR. So if you're going to your pedal board, you can go out of here. And if, if you're going to a mixer or a PA, I recommend the XLR cable, right? So that's pretty easy. The box itself has that little white light inside, that little... LED light see how it's flashing that means that this is not synced when it goes solid white that means that it's synced so when I was it's supposed to be so easy that you just grab this and plug it on your guitar just like a cable and and you're done this will find its best channel uh, to to sync into right away however I couldn't get it to work I, I was like I said looking through videos couldn't get it to work so this little button right here, let's see if I can focus there. That little button right there, that's what makes the connection. So now, what's happening is that my guitar, and I'm sure other guitars out there have this issue, it's just not quite built to, to, to make the full connection. So I had to like sync it by hand, sort of deal. Just press the button and sync it, and then plug it in, and, and it still wouldn't work. So. Something I didn't think about is that it comes with this jack, which is mostly to put this like on your pedal board or something like that, you know, and going from the back, uh, pretty convenient. However, it has the flat surface that I needed to make the full contact, so now I'm plugging that onto that, and I'm plugging my wireless transmitter onto that, and booyah, I'm synced in. Oh, I'm also unplugged. So see it went to solid white now so if you are having issues with your transmitter not syncing it's probably because the little button is not making that connection it needs to go like so flush it's, it's, it's really particular so use the quarter inch or the, the the right angle that they that comes with it other than that when I got it to work, it's amazing. Uh, it really is. It goes up about 50 feet. And uh, I like to go around the crowd and make people sing from time to time. And I usually have to leave my guitar behind and make sure the bass player and the drummer keep the beat. And now I'm excited because I can just go around the crowd with this thing. And you don't have that big bulk with the antenna like back in the day that you had a strap onto your guitar and things like that. This is amazing. This is by Line 6. They did a really good job. They really thought it out real well. And like I said, just plug it up. And, uh, and it charges, it charges. Another cool thing about it, you don't have to, like if you have it on your guitar, you don't have to take it out to take a 15, 20 minute break with your band. You can leave it in and uh, it will shut off itself after four minutes of not use. And then when you start strumming the guitar, it'll come right back up. So check it out, Relay G10 by Line 6, really good. Uh, and I hope that this helps you out.